Hello, new dawn tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Long War with me, Blue Inkilo. Sorry for ending the last episode without a proper outro, but uh, I realized it was about a half hour episode anyway, which is about what I aim for. So, um, today we have a uh, covert op, and the world is looking not so hot, but uh, we're going to go uh, deal with some exalt, because, you know, while the aliens are invading the world and killing everyone and eating them and turning them into mutated monsters. The humans are also causing problems stealing all of our money. That's great. Anyway, I picked out a team as I tend to do. Actually, I did this on camera, so you guys know what it's like. We had a, a bit of a teaser at the end of the last episode for this mission, so you know what's coming. Touching down. Oh good, just right in the middle of a base. Glad we're heading to Russia. The latest intelligence sweep indicates an exalt cell inside Russia. <laughs> is that all? To provide whatever is necessary to help our operatives secure the exalt data. We haven't been terribly successful with stopping the exalt. It's kind of a mechanic in Enemy Within, and especially in Long War, that I'm not... I don't know. I'm not a super fan of it. Like... It's cool to try to diversify the missions a little bit, so you get some some Our variety. But I don't, I don't play science fiction strategy games to fight humans, especially humans that could just drop in indefinitely, practically. That's. I don't. I think it's a weaker addition to the series. It's not totally bad. It's just weaker. Alright, so, pretty high level squad if I remember correctly, which means perhaps success? The last mission was successful due to uh, high level squad. So I think what we do, I think what I did last time is we rush everyone over here to try to guard the encoder. And if that works out, then we're good. And if it doesn't work out, eh, then we're dead. I should look for all of these first. Has a number of communications relays nearby. One, if our two. Can get in close to one and use the encryption keys recovered with the enemy data. They should be able to temporarily disable Exalt's comm systems. Well, there should be there should be four, but I'll try to find them. Just don't activate anything inside. We need to get to that door super quick. Moving to designated position. Post haste, one might say. That might even be the word that fits. Already there. Yeah, you're already there. No, you're not. Alright. Try to have people in position to shoot if they can next turn if they need to. Otherwise, just get everybody as far as as far forward as we can. There's nothing active, so standing out in the open is totally fine. Alright, prepare for the onslaught. Now, I do recall that the last encoder-transmitter battle we did went really, really well. So, um, you know, don't give up all hope yet. Yes, Commander. No time for breaching. Gotta get in here quick so we can start covering it. You know, once we've secured this, we might leave a couple people to guard this flank, but that's, you know, that's next. I would like the gunner somewhere up. The squad, with the extra plus five range, Michael can be a little bit further back. We want the infantry maybe up, sort of with the scout up here. Actually, the scout, I'll probably end up pulling him back. Running. Because the, he doesn't need to be close like the rest of the team. I just wanted to, you know, scout with him. That was that was his job to scout. It's literally his name, you know. Rolling out. Rockets on the door. Rockets Getting on the door. Location. Sniper can sometimes get a shot through the door from back there here, but he also covers the left flank from here fairly s better from here. Change my mind. And engineer. To be honest, I'm kind of expecting stuff to come around that corner as well, so... Got it covered. Miss the medic. I think there's enough coverage on this side. 
wouldn't mind having someone on this one too, but maybe I'll wait till next turn just in case it's an activation. Because there could be something hiding there. Although, we probably would have heard it last turn like, you know, like that. Alright, there they come. Unfortunately, our scout's a little too close. Gonna miss. Or just bad shot. However you want to explain it. Whatever you tell your supervisor. Oh, that could be good. Yeah, that's what we wanted. That's not what we wanted. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. Two elites, three elites. Probably, I think they're all elites. forces are in position to hack the encoder. If we don't secure, yeah, the central. We know the drill. The transmitter. It's terrible. I'm not happy. <laughs> so I'm thinking to use the assaults to try to kill this guy, and then have the rest of the team finish these guys up. We'll start with the gunner. This is when we could have had AoE suppression and it would have hit them all. But you can't get everything. I'm about to start keeping score. I hope you're keeping score. It's your job, Michael. Alright. Gunner is off to a real good start today. I like that. Oh, we can't actually get a flank. Still, I think we can get two shots from here or a shot in Overwatch. And we block the encoder, more importantly. Oh, just kill him. Man, you guys, you are serious today. That was really, really good. I, like, I can't say anything bad about that, uh, results. We got a good ambush on him, and we were able to take them all out. We're gonna sort of switch spots here. I don't think the scout is really valuable up close like that. Come get some. We'll probably put someone else there, maybe the medic or something. Seeing as there's nothing on the right now. Yes, this, the medic does have opportunists, so it's, it's nice to have more coverage here. We're definitely gonna let them come to us. Back online. We've got really good position here. Even a little bit of flank protection, depending on what happens. It's a bit annoying. Yeah, it's fairly annoying as well. We're gonna need to kill that one. Oh, man, they just keep dropping in! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! How many elites have they dropped in on top of us now? That's crazy! It's a heavy. That's heavy. So we have two heavies. That guy's got six HP. That guy's got a little bit more. I'm gonna actually use the sniper to try to kill the other one. We we need to kill them all. The sniper does really good damage, so use him for that. All right, I think we got this. Oh, I wasn't expecting Mook to have a shot from here. Good old gunners, long range. Now the trick is to get the kill without activating anything else. 
No! <laughs> that is not what you were supposed to do, Adam Burton. You didn't listen to Blue. I told you the trick. <laughs> I'm on it, Commander. Got to kill this heavy, though. Okay, that works. He's down. It's another heavy. That's a mess. Uh, I'll get him next time. There may not be a next time. No point taking the shot. We're gonna have to activate this next turn. I. I don't know. I thought I was going to be able to move my operative up and kill this guy. I wasn't... I was really not expecting that to activate anything. I feel I feel Moving Maybe they're dumb and they'll come through this way. Come on, be dumb. Don't be smart. Incoming fire. I'm surprised he has a normal gun, actually. I wonder if those are Goss Tech. I, I, I've never really seen uh, Exalt use Goss. I thought it was just ballistic to laser, really. Fire. How can they see you? Huh? Exalt shouldn't get extra range vision, like the aliens sort of do, but like... The Exalt should have no bonuses. Come on, uh, strange mind. It's a good hit. Okay, I got a plan. Should have done this before the sniper shot, but I forgot I had an engineer over here. You know, it's easy to forget about the engineers. Sniper might have been able to kill that guy. That'll be hit and run. X-ray neutralized. And the funny thing is, these aren't even X-rays. Ha ha! It's annoying that that guy's technically uh, in cover there. I don't like the fact that everyone's been shooting at King Cobra in half cover. Locked and loaded. Okay. I've got it's kind of why I didn't want to move up on this side, but seeing as we were getting attacked from long range, right? Automatic. Oh, that's the different guys that we're going to watch. So many of these guys. All right, well, pull back. That's affirmative. Run. I've got my eyes on. That should got to got to hack it. It will take Exalt's people some time to get their communications back up and running. Get ready. Yeah. Anyway. We just got to start hitting all the uh, the relays now. Totally changed my plan mid uh, action, but you know how it goes sometimes, right? You know how it goes. Moving out. Enemy in yeah, <laughs> there's lots of them out here. Holy smokes! Where's my rockets? I need my rockets. I shouldn't have. Need to find some new I should not have uh, overwatched my rocketeer. Wowzers! Alright, well I did this turn a little bit out of order, because I changed my mind kind of midway through on what I wanted. Let me finish that guy off. Yeah, spank the boss. Out of the game. Time to motor. I, 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 I realized I made a bit of a ordering error. Because I might have been able to get a really beautiful rocking to that huge group. 
Maybe destroy a car. You never know. There's just so many of them. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, good. Lightning reflexes. Yeah. Yeah, moving the rocket up and taking a shot at that big group would definitely have been better than that. Of that much, there can be no question. Those are close combat. That, that was pretty close. Smoke. Oh, just offensively. Wow, seven damage from just a normal grenade. That sucks. They're just gonna spam my assault. Well, honestly, moving as an assault up after you deactivate their weapons is usually the best strategy to deal with outrageous numbers of exalts. Like oh yeah, right by the sniper. I don't know if we're going to be able to hold out a little longer, though, right now. I think this is perhaps the beginning of the end. I mean, look at this. How many Exalt is there on this map right now? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's like one up here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. At least, at least fourteen activated. They got double our numbers. I don't know. I can flank him here. On it. <sighs> oh, long war. My joke in the live streams when I do these on live streams is this is what makes people uninstall long war. Not that, Miss just the, the feeling you get when it's just so brutally unfair. I don't think I'm going to be able to get another turn because the beacons are really far away right now. now. So we're going to get one more deactivation and then that's it. Enemy communications are down. That should keep Excel busy for a while. Ah, 77%. This guy has lightning reflexes, so killing him with normal shots is kind of important. Alright, infantry continues to impress. Out of the game. And I know there's somebody up here. I'm pretty sure something dropped. Maybe on the roof, actually. I'd like to try to let the medic kill that guy. I'm gonna try to kill the uh, heavy with the rocket, basically. That's overkill by far, but. Oh, I should have maybe killed him here first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have killed him. You know what I mean. Should have tried. Whatever. Grenade wasn't going to do enough to really make any difference. Well, if I want to save my assault, we have to start moving forward. And we did disable them for one more turn. It's not enough damage. Well, maybe. Maybe, just maybe. The best rocket in the history of XCOM. Maybe. Kills eight. Come on, Rocketeer. 
didn't even hit the guys in the back row. Hopefully those two cars explode, though. You never know. That sucks. I was really hoping for at least one kill. Well, I mean, it was a good rocket. It just didn't kill them all. <laughs> They're trying to flank us. Pretty successfully, I could say. They've got the numbers on their side, for sure. I mean, if they all hold still, or most of them hold still, we've got another really good rocket ready, right? Come on, you guys, you're supposed to hold still. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you hide behind that police car. That's a good idea. Maybe we can pull a win out of this. Yeah, that's the guy that was on the roof. Boom! Not enough damage. Boom! Still not enough damage. I'm, un I'm unimpressed. Well, the sniper has exactly one shot, so we'll take that. So the danger this turn is we can't uh, disable their weapons again, which is bad, Losing. definitely not good. Maybe you'd be able to kill this guy at least, between a grenade and a flank shot. It's not unreasonable. It's unreasonable. I guess, you know, it's fine to let King Cobra kill him. She get hit and run off of him. Maybe I should have just done this instead of... I was really hoping my uh, operative would just be able to do it, but... Lock and load it. There's a lot of operatives out there. I guess finishing off as many as possible is the best strategy. Who were you aiming at, even? If we could kill, like, four of them, that would be pretty awesome. Come on, Rocket. The last one failed. Killed nothing! You killed nothing, and we have nothing. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Could flash four. I think we have to do this. I mean, they should be dead. At least some of them, right? But the rocket's just not not doing enough work. You know, if I get hit by a rocket, remember when their heavy did a rocket, it did 10 damage to two people, insta-killed them. When I use rockets on them, two rockets to the face and they're not even they don't even flinch. Two rockets, no flinch. I don't remember, do we have double tap this round? Try to Do not have double tap. Oh, there's just too many exalt here. And they don't miss. It's not like us. Yeah, two for two. Oh, man. I don't think this is going to work out so good. I, I tried my best. I used everything I had, but they just outnumber us so bad. And I mean, really, like, they s seems like the numbers are on their side, I don't know. Those guys, you know, four of them have been flashbangs, so they've got, like, minus 50 aim, but, you know, almost everyone else that's taking a shot is hitting. Almost, not quite. Whoa. 
So the medic's down, which means the assault is down. I my prediction now is we'll win, but it will cost us half the squad. That's my prediction. If I keep getting hit, my prediction will get worse. You know, given the bleed out time, I couldn't have saved the assault anyway, so that's fun. I have to keep trying rockets. Please kill a couple of them. We killed one. Three rockets, we've killed one. That's pretty rough, pretty rude. Just terrible rocket luck, I think. There's a really, there's a lot of variance in rocket RNG, like, how much damage it can do. I think we can kill that guy with someone else. Pfft, maybe. There's someone over there. Roger that. Uh, I know there is. Come get some. I right, found him. Ah, uh, you know that means... No, we would have moved no line of sight. I was thinking maybe I could have... Uh, well, if I'd moved here first, I might have, been able to, might have been able to position the scout somewhere to get a shot. But I thought this spot would see there, and I was wrong, so... Sure would have been nice to have an AP grenade over that side. Well... Equal, equal. We wouldn't do much damage with the carbine, so a mine fray would be much more effective if it would hit. You know, less aim instead of one damage that does nothing. Okay, that's a heavy dead. On reserve. Kill confirmed. That sucks. Too much HP, might as well just try to finish someone off. Ah, the gunner and the infantry, they're just gonna kill everybody. So what, they got four or five left? And finally got my rocketeer. That gunner, ridiculous aim. That's another gunner, obviously, so the gunners are the enemy gunners are tearing us up. I mean, our gunner's tearing them up, so, I mean, fair's fair, I guess. Problem is, like, <sighs> this happens a lot in um, single-player versus AI games. The AI can lose a lot of troops. It doesn't really matter. They have no... They have no long-term consequence for... Um, death. Like, it's, it's, it's just this one mission. If they lose 20 guys, it's no big deal. It doesn't cost them anything. Whereas on our side, even one loss is hard to come back from. And especially in our current situation, like it just keeps stacking up negatively. You, know, you lose gear, you lose equipment. Uh, gear and equipment, haha. But you, you know what I mean. You, you lose out on resources and you lose out on expertise resources as well. Not much I can do with a sniper, really. Mm, the fact that that guy's alive is a problem. Because he's going to flank my infantry. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, I don't think I can do much about it. Heading out. Take a shot where I can, I guess. Ha! Well, if our infantry goes down, we're in even worse trouble. Okay, he shouldn't be able to move and shoot because he's a gunner. Somehow, my operative is still alive. That'll be a flank. Instead, sometimes they're dumb. Alright, well, the sniper's gotta move somewhere then. This is pointless. Come on, 84%. There we go. I still think we'll win, but it's, it's going to be a brutal victory. Fearic victory, maybe. Bye -bye. Yeah, they don't have very much left anymore. Moving out. Let's rock. I don't think they have much left. It's funny how this is still full cover, but alright. Be able to disable that next turn. Stay frosty. Stay frosty. Heading out. I'm on it. Make him come to us. If he's a gunner, he can't move and shoot, so I think that's actually the best strategy versus gunners. We don't run into aliens that have that sort of disability, that they can't move and fire on the same round. So I'm not really used to taking advantage of it, but. You know, if you're going to fight um, Exalt Heavies, it makes perfect sense. You've done it, Commander. Exalt's troops are dead. Uh, well, we didn't even lose half of our team. Just three. So, I mean, at the beginning of this mission, I was thinking, well, this is how we determine whether or not we can continue the game or not. And then we win, sort of. Drake's dead, Spank the Boss is dead, that's some more Tech Sergeant's gone, our Rocketeer is also dead, but, you know, in, in, in recompense we get a really good uh, infantry promotion. I don't know. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's good. Hey, we got our money, most of our money back. And of course... I didn't have the money to fix those last time they got broken. Well, we'll make a little bit of money in a couple days. Contact detected. Seriously, I don't think we're going to be able to shoot this down, but I'll give it a try. We have eyes on the bandit. Closing on target. Those double shots, they're gonna real really hurt. Alright. Uh, let's keep trying. Why do I have Oh, I did have three in Europe. When did I do They're supposed to be in Africa? How come nobody told me about that? <laughs> oh, it's just the perfect sign of a good game. I didn't even realize that I sent my interceptors to Europe rather than Africa where I have satellites. <laughs> I mean, it's good actually, really. If you had the, the interceptors to spare, you would help save uh, a continent that was in really bad shape. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. That's good. That's just pure up not paying attention. Oh, I guess I should actually, yeah, continue the research. You know, it's really good to be researching stuff. There, There is our, um, so I did need a Lyrium. This is what gets us uh, Aegis armor, which is really good. Uh, it's, it's just, it's all too late. There's no way. You know, we're kind of lucky our satellites didn't get shot down in Africa. 
I'm surprised they gave me a B for that month. Commander, <laughs> to see our oh, I think I retook um, South Africa this month, which is probably why they're happy. Your only mark the oh yeah, 68 bucks a month! We are super, super, like, Commander. making profit here. What was I going to spend that money on? There was something I was going to buy. Oh, I was going to repair. That's where the money was going to go. Yeah, repair that stuff. <laughs> Alright, we're going to end the episode here for now. Things aren't looking very good. But maybe everything gets repaired, everyone comes off fatigued, and we assault the base. Maybe. Maybe. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you're enjoying. I'm, I'm having a good time, but uh, I don't really think we're going to be winning this campaign. I think... I was going to talk about it this episode, and I kind of forgot. I think we lost a couple months ago, and we just don't know it yet. I think probably September, probably somewhere in September, maybe even August, it was done. But we kept trying, and we had a little glimmer of hope when we took an alien base. Uh, but then we found out just how far behind... Stop that. Stop the time. Pause. If you're on that, there's no pause. Um, I think... Uh, the aliens got too far ahead of us too early, and we couldn't keep up on the... Um, the, the, the equipment side, so they started one-shotting us. We got... Uh, most of these people, I think, were actually just killed in one shot. Um, which means our armor did nothing. Like, we just instantly killed. So I needed to get better armor way earlier. And in, I couldn't have researched it faster, I so... To the I don't know. Team, I don't know how to explain it. Whatever. Ahead. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. We can talk about it in the comment section if you've got some suggestions. <laughs> See you guys next time.